Billy Bob's is a legendary night spot in the stockyards of Fort Worth, and Casey Donahue is making a name for himself there, selling out his last few appearances. The Casey Donahue Band has an extremely strong fan base in the Lone Star State, but is now reaching a more national audience. We caught up with Casey backstage before yet another sold-out show at Billy Bob's to talk about his style of music. We like to put on a real uh, high-energy show. It's kind of our... Uh... It's kind of how we made our name when we started out. We weren't a band that had a lot of radio success or a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of help from any big labels or anything pushing us. We've always kind of done it ourselves. So we were this underground band when we first started out. And so uh, it was real important for me and, and for us as, as a band to, to put on a show that, that spoke for itself. That's how we made our name was this live show where people would tell their friends, hey, you've got to come see this, this band. I, I found them, you know, out of nowhere. Here, let me burn you a CD. And, send you a copy of it and so that's how we made our name and we still try to hold uh, hold strong to that i'll give you a ring so your ass can't tell me no Ten years ago, I, I didn't have a clue what was going on. So I was, uh, we, were, we, we started out at this little bar right across the street that held, uh, I think, 65 people. And sometimes we'd get uh, 40, 40 or 50 people to come see us, and we, you, know, we thought you were a rock star. And so little did you know, there was a, a lot further, a uh, lot further to go. But we, we've been, uh, we've been lucky. I, you know, I, I don't know. Uh, how to put a finger on where, where the luck changed or whatever. I think it's just all that uh, we have great fans. And I think, I think that uh, me and this band and, and Melinda and uh, the way we run our business and the way, the way we conduct ourselves, I think there's a believability. I always use this term, believability. I don't know if it's, I need to look it up and see if that's a real word or not. But I always use this word, believability. And I think that that translates to our fans. And I think our fans, respond to that and can tell that we're just uh, normal guys who like to get up on stage and play music and have fun and, uh, and I think uh, they appreciate that. You know I'm real big on, on a hook you know I think uh, you know the hook in a song uh, sells it so uh, you know I spend a lot of time trying to find the right hooks before I write songs a lot of people will go to studio and you know they'll write you know hey I've, I've got 50 new songs we're gonna go in there and try to pick 10 or 12 out and I, I don't I don't ever do that I don't ever I don't ever finish a song that I don't plan on putting on a record. If I've wrote this song and we finished and I, I've, and I started, don't worry, there's a lot of them that are half done. But if I write one and get all the way to the end, we're putting on a record somewhere. Just a couple of kids, little the double wide dream. You know, the fans in Texas, uh, this is, uh, it's second nature. You know, Texas Red Dirt music has been here since, uh, you know, mid '90s, uh, it, somewhere in that that ballpark. So you know, we've it's 16, 17, 18 years worth of uh, getting used to this. So it's pretty common down here. You see a lot of Texas uh, Texas Red Dirt shows, festivals, fairs, a lot of bands. There's there's a show in, in your town every week. I can assure you. And so uh, in the last three or four years, I've really I've really seen the scene grow outside of Texas and Oklahoma. You can really tell how fast it's happening you know the, the lines the lines are being blurred between uh, you know it's not just texas and oklahoma anymore it's really moving all through the midwest and the, the east coast west coast uh, the scene's happening and it's uh i can see the hunger again you know i can remember in, in 02 i wasn't there at the beginning and you know we've been doing this since 2002 but i can tell you know back in in those early uh those early years going to pat green shows and uh seeing cross Canadian ragweed for the first time and just the passion that the fans felt about it and how new and exciting it was and you knew every song and and uh, you know you'd drive a hundred miles and or you know or, or further and we go up north and you'll talk to people who drove you know five six hours to come see a show and that, to me that's what it feels like again it feels like the beginning in, in some of these states if people are really passionate about the music and it's it's just like it's like Christmas morning when you wake up and you, you're pumped and you found something new and you're excited about it and so that's what it feels like up there
Casey and his band stick around to meet with fans after every single show, making him a very accessible and down-to-earth country artist. You definitely need to take in a CDB show when he comes to your area. We've got lots more ahead, including a look into the country music highway next, so don't go away. We'll be right back with more Inside Music Row right after this.